So the first placeholder I will be taking a look at is the this placeholder which we'll place between square brackets. We already used one of these types of placeholders in a previous training, but we didn't really go into too much detail on it back then. So let's take a look right now. If we open up this element right here, we see one of our visual files that we created in one of the basic trainings where we just displayed some basic information on a shape. Now, one of these shapes, if we go to edit in visio, you will see contains the this card object ID placeholder. So while it is actually linked to the same object as for instance, this shape, namely the DMA info underscore training, we can use this placeholder to link to the same thing because the discard object ID will refer to the ID of the current card. So what do I mean by that? If you take the properties of your current element, you will find an ID in there and this part is what the placeholder will be replaced by. So the useful thing about this is that we can reuse it on any type of card. We can put the shape on a view card and it will also link to that view immediately. While this is not the case for this shape, which will always link to the DMA info underscore training element, regardless of what visual we put it on. So there are several other placeholders that you can use that more or less do the same thing. If I control drag the shape and I change this placeholder, for instance, to this element, it will be replaced by the current element name. So the element name of the current card. We can also use this element ID, for instance, and that will then yield the same result as this placeholder, namely, it will replace it by the numeric key or the ID of the object. If I save this and go back, we actually see that we have the same result three times, but we got there in a different way. Now, what is also important here is that you know when to use which placeholder. So why do we have, for instance, a this element placeholder and a this element ID placeholder? Well, if you are using a table, for instance, and you want to get a certain row from a table where the key is one element or the element name, then you really want to use this element because it will not work with this element ID because that's not the key of the table. So this goes for several other examples as well. So really think about what placeholder you want to use in which situation. But that is the displaceholder.